Uni Sky stuff. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So for this video, I want to focus on my next trip to Bun Willow Race Park on February 6th. I've been getting as close as about 202, 203. Tonight, I'm going to my Porsche coach Michael's house for some simulator practice. Simulator practices help me with getting familiar with the track after a long break. Depends on the software you use, it also helps with understanding the car that you're driving on the track. Of course, driving on a simulator does not have the real life effect or fear in real life, but the concept and skills are applicable. Oh my god, why is it shaking? <clears throat> okay, so I'm at Max's shop right now and trying to get the Porsche prepped for the track day. Um, we found some issues. Uh, let's see if it'll show. Is it gonna show? Why did you turn the music okay, on? Turn it on. <laughs> um, is it this part? No. Oh, oh. Yes, it's that. Okay. So my car has been making clunky noises, and we found that. Isn't that beautiful sound? That's the uh, sway bar end link at the back. It's not tying all the way. So um. Not, 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 not the best thing to happen, but I'm glad we found it. Well, we have the car on the ground. It's the moment of truth. What? You uh, heard it? I don't want you to run. Oh, I didn't run. It's fine. I want to test the gimbal too. Oh, I heard it. Getting that spot, maybe. There's some squeaking when we push on the, the caliper and the rotors. And we're gonna spray down the bushing and see if that helps. I think, it, yeah, I think it's coming from there. It's the bushing. Okay. Yeah, the bushing's blown. Okay. Yeah. We're almost there after two and a half hours of drive. During the first two sessions of the day, I spent most of the time driving with Michael just to get comfortable with the track, correct some common mistakes of mine, and clear my head for my last miserable four off at Phil's Hill. At turn two, I learned to brake later, harder, and hold the steering wheel tighter to the right and wait till the car settles to ease in on the throttle. At cotton corners, I learned to brake hard, but let go the brake faster and put in more throttle in between each turns to carry more speed when exiting. I'm still working on the flow at club corners. I believe I can carry more speed if I can set up the car better from the beginning so that I don't feel hesitant with the throttle later. Another issue that I really need to work on is my neck and head position. I involuntarily turn my neck where the car goes. I'm guessing it's more comfortable for my neck, but it definitely messes with my balance, so that needs to be fixed. I lost quite some time at Phil's Hill as I brake a little too late and too hard at the top of the hill, so I didn't carry enough speed down the hill, which directly impacted the entire way till the sweeper. the sweeper, I'm still working on my throttle control, including using the throttle to control the direction of the car and the gentle movement to get on the throttle earlier. Overall, I'm really happy with the session. 
even though I got 3 seconds slower than my best time from July 2021, but I know I'm picking things back up faster and safer. It's been a successful day at Bobo today. I did not spin out, I did not go off. It has been very safe and I made it four sec four seconds improvement throughout the day. I know it's not it's still not the best I can do since uh, coming back to the track like half a year later but I'm definitely happy to make all those practices and very excited to come to my little next time to really shave a couple more seconds down. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!